We've got it, and we've got it good. The last time the games were held in L.A., 1932, the woman to watch was Mildred Ella Diedrichsen. Babe, as she was known, has been considered one of the greatest and most versatile athletes of all time. That year, she took home a silver medal and two goals, one of them in the 80-meter hurdles. The second-place finisher to Babe was her teammate, Evelyn Hall, who lost this race in the photo finish by what the judges determined was a matter of inches. Evelyn Hall, Adams joins me along with Susan Clark. There's the photo right there. Watch for yourself. And Evelyn Hall is with us, Evelyn Hall Adams, I might add, and Susan Clark, who portrayed the babe in the uh, Emmy Award-winning television movie. They're with me this morning. And Evelyn, uh, it's been 52 years ago. Uh, you did hit the tape simultaneously. They gave you the same time, but you got the silver, she got the gold. Uh, it was a judgment call. Uh, do you still feel pangs of maybe resentment or... Because uh, I know you protested it at the time. I don't feel pangs of re resentment, but I just feel pangs of, pangs of hurt, rather. And I just feel that somehow, maybe this might be justified. And particularly since the two girls were given gold medals in the swimming, Under maybe, the day's rules, it would have been right. two golds. Well, you see, the camera was not official at that time. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, and no electric timing device. No, no. Mm -hmm. But after, when they did show the camera, then they said it could have been otherwise. And I felt it could have been otherwise. You followed, of course, Babe's career after that. Uh, which we know her primarily after that as a, one of the great golfers yes, of all time. Yes, she was. She was a marvelous golfer. Did you ever talk with her and discuss it? Afterwards? No, we never did. <laughs> never got <laughs> that would have been that. very <laughs> difficult to talk and discuss it with Babe. Right. <laughs> Later, Susan, I know you, uh, uh, being the great actress you are, you must have studied Babe. Uh, you had to get to know her. You had to learn how to hurdle, throw the jab, yes. and the high jump, to uh, do all of that. You said you were a non-athlete going in. What did you learn about great athletes like the Babe? What, that what do they have to go through? They have to have an incredible tunnel vision focus and the most incredible spirit and drive and desire to win. I think that she was driven by the immigrant child, poor family, Texas, and I, th I think that's just God-given. I think that just happens every once in a while to have that incredible push. What the learning of all those sports uh, taught me was freedom. There's nothing like, and I'm watching the Olympics every day, and when these girls, particularly the girls, because I identify with the women, when they win in swimming or volleyball and they cry, there's just a tingling on the skin because nobody did it for you. The camera didn't adjust, nobody lit you beautifully. You didn't have four weeks rehearsal in a play, you had to do it then. And it's eight years or 20 years or whatever for 20 seconds. It really is. It's uh, they're just a little different than the men. Evelyn, uh, watching the Olympics, it has to bring back some wonderful memories. Now, let me just point out that you have stayed very close to the Olympic movement. You're part of the Spirit Team of 84. You've been involved in coaching, and you stayed very close to it. But watching the Olympics come back to the Coliseum must be something special for you. Oh, it is. It, it makes me very emotional because I can understand with what the, everyone is going through. And I mean, 52 years, I mean, just seems like yesterday because it just wells up inside of you. And I mean, you're so thrilled to be a part of it, and you're so proud that you're an American. And it's just, it's just the most wonderful feeling that there could ever be. It really is uh, remarkable that what the two of you have done, you in your own way as an athlete, staying close to the movement. Susan, I think giving uh, the artistic expression to the babe that you did has done a great deal to help women's sports. Uh, you, both of you must be very proud of what's happened. We have uh, Parity uh, mm -hmm. at Wimbledon. We yes. have Dinah with a $400,000 golf tournament. We are going to have coverage today of the heptathlon, the opening of track and field. You, most, you both must be very proud of it. I think, it's, I think it's fun, and I think it's time, and I think it's exciting that, that uh, women are now good enough, and women care about watching women. That's the big thing. It is, and a lot of it credit goes to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you for being with us. Thanks, Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. All right, we'll be returning with more.